Business fans, what's going on? It's your boy King, man. Today is a hell of a Sunday. Hell of a Sunday. Both of our teams here in Detroit, our Lions and our Pistons, have blown out their opponents. It's been so long since I've been able to say that. It's been so long. My Pistons are 7-8. and eight. After last year, we are 7-8. and eight. Probably could easily have about 10 victories right now. This is amazing. Detroit Sports is back. All right, y'all. So listen, man. Our Pistons seven to eight on the season. A couple of close game nail biters, man, and uh, a couple of putbacks and some all world games from guys like Giannis. Uh, to, to barely beat this team that we are currently growing here in Little Caesars Arena called the Detroit Pistons. <laughs> These young boys are, I mean, young men. They, they, they were men today. <laughs> um, these young men are continuously growing. Um, the fourth quarter came about today. Of course, the sweat started. Uh, we was all saying to ourselves mentally, man, here we go. But today, they took care of business. Jay Nivey, a big part of that. Uh, just aggressive, just passing the ball, just doing everything out there. Um, and, you know, like I said, K had his usual K game, uh, you know, on, on the, the north side of the 20 plus point club with, with, with a bunch of rebounds and assists. That's just what we expect out of those two and that's what we can get used to seeing out of those two and that's what's going to drive us to win a lot of these basketball games you know as i said man the teams that are mid-level to inferior i just don't see the pistons beating i mean losing to those teams this year they're going to take care of business against those teams and that's what's going to help them on the road to win that uh that sweet spot of games where I predicted the 35 uh, wins or even north of that to 40 wins. Um, taking care of business in games like this is going to help you along the way because we still have a trade deadline coming up uh, months away where we can add more talent to this team. Uh, we, you know, me personally, I'm almost for certain, you know, for sure that we're going to at least make some uh, one move. Uh, and who that'll be, we'll find out. But right now, our main part of our core is secure, and they're going to be secure. And they're going to perform for us, and it's going to lead them to wins, man. More wins. You know, usually we would struggle a, against a team like Washington, you know what I'm saying, over the years, man. Uh, but today, we were not having any of it. You know, Kyle Kuzma and, and Poole and some of those usual guys that just kill us. They just weren't able to, to do that today. Just didn't have enough firepower to deal with our Pistons team. Um, you know, the defense and the ball movement, it, it continues to improve. We still don't have a full roster yet. So it's very interesting to see the Detroit Pistons take care of business the way that they did tonight because we're we're just starting. You know what I'm saying? We're just starting. Uh, we're budding right now. And, you know, once we start to grow... Um, it's it's going to be very interesting to see how far this team can go. It really is, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm looking forward to Kate and Ivy becoming the star players that we believe that they are. Um, you know, whether it's all-star appearances or not, I'm just looking for this backcourt to develop together and become an absolute, uh, absolute dominant force that you know nobody in the league wants to deal with and that comes with growing 
Um, K got to be better in the fourth quarter. You know, had a great game tonight, but in the fourth quarter, you've seen some of the struggles reappear. Fourth quarter, got to get more out of K. Um, and that's just something that he'll continue to grow with. You know, it's not to point out, you know, what he did bad or anything like that. Um, but that's an art. And it's something that he's going to have to continue to build on. And uh, whatever it, you know, if he's in his own head in the fourth or not, whatever it is, he's going to have to figure that out. Um, I prefer Ivy and Beasley on the floor uh, in the fourth quarter, at least with it, with that last six to, you know, five to six minutes left because it helps with the scoring punch. And you see Ivy drive and kick the ball because he's drawing a crowd now simply because a lot of these teams figure out he, this guy, we can't stay in front of this dude. So that sets Kate up for easier shots. Um, Beasley set him up for a shot today uh, in the fourth quarter. He didn't knock it down, but the fact that it was available is, you know, the positive from that situation because there's going to be games where he knocks that down, obviously. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for little spurts and little bits of growth, uh, but at the same time, I'm watching what we need to improve on. So, yeah, um, great game for them guys tonight. I think. You know, one thing that I noticed with Isaiah Stewart, man, you know, I know Isaiah Stewart's been working on his jumping. He's been working on, he's been jumping, he's been uh, on the box, he's been jumping on the box. Um, you know, I pay, I pay close attention. <laughs> um, I feel like he's jumping a little bit higher. I don't know if it's just me, but a lot of those block shots that he's been getting, he's been getting up, you know, he's been getting up. And I wonder if that has anything to do with it, man, because you can train yourself to jump higher. You really can. Uh, and to maximize your jumps. And I just feel like, you know, he's turning into that player defensively that will be able to deal with these bigger guys and these driving guards at the basket because he's been able to block their shots. He's been able to get up high enough to be a, a pest at least. Um, and that's going to help him out a lot. It's going to help him out a lot. So, you know, again, during, just got to continue to work on, you know, not fouling, moving your feet, um, using your body, controlling your body. That's crazy because I just spent half a day coaching that. Yeah, I had to coach uh, my son today and some of his teammates about that today. We had to coach that today. Um, even though it's Sunday, we opened up the gym and let the, let the boys come in. So, you know, at an NBA level, when you have to say stuff like that, <laughs> it kind of make you cringe a little bit. But moving your feet, man, using your body under control, less hands, um, control contest at the basket is what you got to work on. You know, you can't be lazy with it. You need to make sure that your technique is valid. Um, and that'll keep you out of that foul trouble. Sometimes you don't have to try to jump to the moon and block the shot. Put your hands up. You big enough. Put your hands up, man. Take a charge. You're too big to not be taking charges. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, some of the things that he just has to work on. And like I said, these, I mean, I mean so look, how, look how old Durin is. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but some of the things I would like to see him work on, man. Guys like Fontecchio, you got to. Get that rust off. Shake the rust off. You miss a couple of games. And, um, you know, like I said, for the games that you've been available, the, the jump shot just hasn't been falling consistently. You know, he knocked down a couple of threes tonight. Uh, but you want to see the consistency get back with him because a lot of us was very high on him last season. Uh, we need him to be that player. So, yeah, Beasley is this continues to be untouchable. <laughs> this man is... Uh, instant heater he is this year's version of our microwave player um it just is what it is and tobias is just tobias i'm tired of repeat myself about tobias tobias was tobias today so <laughs> that's pretty much it for this game um i'm looking forward to the pistons to continue to, to get stronger and get better um and to see them have this growth right now while our other teams are good here in the city Man, it's just beautiful. This is what I experienced, you know, when uh, when I was around that magical time, you know, somewhere around 2004, you know, 
Uh, we got our Tigers, obviously, what they did this season. Uh, the Red Wings are trying to build. The Pistons are trying to build. Lions, best team in the NFL right now, <laughs> especially after Kansas City went down. Um, it's just a great time to be a Detroit sports fan. It really is. So with that said, leave it in the comment section, man. Let me know what you think about, you know, the Pistons so far this season. Um, are you pleased? Are you surprised? Um, leave it in the comment section, man. It was, you know, we can talk about that. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.